I'm gonna go out here and stir things up a little bit. One thing I love about having the chickens out here is that, you know, if I'm washing dishes, if we're sitting in the kitchen, we literally can just turn our view out the window and these chickens are out here. They're so productive, they're so full of life. I'm just gonna turn over this one pile here, just enough to give the chickens something interesting to do. They're gonna love it, they're gonna jump right on it and just dig through it. Okay, that's gonna do for now. You know, Joel Salatin uses pigs in conjunction with chickens in deep bedding. He takes his laying hens off the pasture in the wintertime and puts them in his greenhouses. He raises them with deep bedding, um, which allows their manure, which is high in nitrogen, to combine with a higher carbon material, like sawdust, wood chips, straw. But the chickens, he says, tend to cap off the compost with their very wet, kind of sticky poop, and they're not able to sometimes break through that cap. He actually puts pigs in the greenhouse in portable pens and moves them through the greenhouse and the pigs actually break up that chicken manure cap, dig deeper into the bedding and allow the chickens to access more of the bedding. You might wonder what I'm digging up. I think you'll be excited when I tell you. It's kind of hard to find these things. I have to tell the difference between this and this, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I found some. I was trying to dig up some Jerusalem artichokes and there they are. You know, I planted these things about a year ago and I just bought them from um, the grocery store and I just planted them throughout this area. The deer ate some of the plants down, but some of them are definitely still alive. So the idea is you can plant a whole area of Jerusalem artichokes. They'll just grow and reproduce year after year. They never die. They spread prolifically. And then you can go out and harvest them anytime as you need them. I love this idea. Potentially you could have hundreds of pounds of food in the ground available whenever you needed it. What a cool way to store food. I'm gonna put these back in the ground where I got them. Brianna is actually at the store with the kids and a very helpful friend and they are getting goat supplies. The next thing I need to do is move some pallets from the oldest barn um, over to where we're gonna store our hay to keep our hay off the ground because we are getting hay today. Here we go. The funny thing is that hay storage is exactly what these pallets were being used for um, in this barn. So these are actually re repurposed pallets. It looks like Brianna is home and she's checking out the new gate in the barn in daylight. We'll show that to you. Hello, welcome home. 
Hey, Miss Joy and Rochelle, all the fun work you've been doing. So here's the new partition gate in the barn. What do you think, Brianna? This is what goats do. They will test everything. <laughs> they will leave all their body weight on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. The, the hinges on the door were by far the most expensive part. This material is just free pallet wood. We'll show you all the goat supplies that Brianna got later. Right now we need to get the kids settled down. <laughs> you cleaned the kitchen. Yeah, I did. Do you have any idea how stressed out I've been about coming home to that dirty, awful kitchen? <laughs> Thank you. One of our viewers recently contacted us and said, hey, we live right around the corner from you. They have something for us that they found at the place they bought, and they're not gonna use it, but we can definitely use it. You're gonna like this. What an amazing blessing, an amazing timing. Okay, I got it, it's in the back of the truck. Some of y'all already know what it is. Um, I'll show it to you when I get home. I am really excited about this. The folks who gave it to us didn't want to be on camera, and we completely respect that. You know, it's not everyone who wants to put themselves on YouTube every day or ever. So, but we are just so appreciative. Thank you guys so much. That's an awesome, awesome gift. Very generous. And it's just neat um, to meet new neighbors. Alright, this is a beautiful solid wood goat milking stand. So the goat sticks his head through here. We got a little hose pad so the wood doesn't cut into their necks. And you close their head in, you give them a little feed in a bucket down here, and then you've got them ready to milk. That was perfect timing. I can't find my hog jowls for my greens and my black eyed peas. Uh oh. So let's come and look for him. Your milking stand is in the barn. They also gave us some books. Aww. Thank you. I didn't get to meet you today, but thank you. You were so kind. Our friends are about to come over and bring us some hay. They bought hay today from a really good source at a good price. So we're buying some at the same time. They picked it up and they're bringing it by in just a little bit. Justice has all the ribs from the collard greens and we're gonna give them to the chickens. Nice job. <laughs> They're gonna like that, aren't they? All right, good job, buddy. Look what I found. Here's your wolf. That's your wolf. You think this one's fresh enough for the chickens to like it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job, kitty. As you all know, chickens are not vegetarians. And if they were just free ranging and scavenging for themselves, they would eat almost everything and anything that they found. There it is. Next time we try that, we'll try it before breakfast. Austin, thank you so much for bringing the hay. No That's so great. And thanks for the hay hookup. No problem, man. I guess let's stack it away from the wall as much as possible, but I don't think it's going to get wet in here. I've got plastic for it, though. Like, uh... I'm hoping to find a little barn to do it like this. Does he have a lot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are going inside! Okay, thank you. Alright, honey, the hay is in the barn. <laughs> That's so exciting. You know what I did? Hmm. So I was letting Justice help me cook and he snuck a whole bunch of baking soda into the cornbread and it was so disgusting. So we're remaking the cornbread real quick. Oh no. So is that the cornbread? <laughs> That's the cornbread. The, the chickens will love it. How much baking soda was it? I don't know, but it is so, the flavor, you just taste like you're eating baking soda when you eat it. How's your oatmeal, buddy? Oh no, wrong way! Go 
Look at this plate of food. Ribs, black eyed peas, collard greens, cornbread, sweet potato. It doesn't get much better than that. We're celebrating a great year with our good friends. What a fun evening.